Hello everybody, this is Kevin Ring. Today I'm going to show you with Pixera how to interface a MIDI controller. I'm specifically using a Korg Nano Control 2 uh, purely because that's what I have. However, this will work perfectly fine with just about any controller. So uh, let's, uh, let's do it. So a little bit of prep work I've done before I hit record today is I did build a generic 40 inch FHD monitor. I went to my compositing page. I used the standard test content and I dropped them in the video clips into the layer and I added a pause marker before each one. Check, 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 check. Here we go, a little bit of gain down. So I added a pause mark before each one and I set each video to be a free loop. That way they all play independently or seem <laughs> repeatedly. So I've built the show. But now I want to run the show and I want to use a controller. I'm not a big fan of mouse and keyboard if I don't have to. So there is no official quote unquote Pixera controller that you can go out and purchase. However, Pixera has created what they call Pixera Control, which is a full open API back end into the system. With Pixera Control, you can have 10 what we call modules. Uh, Pixera itself is a module, but then there's other things like Barco for the Event Master toolset. Uh, black Drax, projectors, uh, a lot of really cool things. So there are generic MIDI um, plugins, but then there's also one specifically for the Korg Nano Control 2, which is what I'm using today. So I'm going to drag the Korg Nano Control into my Pixera Control, and I select the uh, Nano Control module, and I make sure it's receiving the correct driver coming in. And yes, this definitely sees the actual incoming device of the Korg Nano Control. I press some buttons and sure enough, it's recognizing movement. So we know that the controller has three sets. So buttons, knobs, sliders. So what I wanna do is I want to connect sliders, buttons, and knobs to Pixera to control various elements. So if I look at the Pixera node, or Pixera module, excuse me, I can go down to timelines, get selected timelines, timeline one, and now I'm gonna have all the open parameters of timeline one. The first important one is of course play. We see play, pause, but there's also one here called toggle transport. So if you hit play, that truly is just that, it's gonna play. So you need a play button, you then need a pause button. Personally, I like just to be able to toggle the play button and pause. So rather than using play or pause, I'm gonna do toggle transport. So I go to my buttons and I'm gonna allocate one as play. And I'm gonna see where it's coming in as right here. So I'm now gonna connect the play uh, node here to toggle transport. And sure enough, I can now play and pause Pixera with the button. Nice. So looking at control as well, some other popular ones. Uh, if we see here, we're going to have, let's see, let's see, move to next queue. This will allow me to jump ahead on my timeline. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna use my next marker button. I'm gonna to go to move to next queue. Boom, boom, very cool. Uh, typically, however, you also want to be able to go to previous queue. So I'm gonna do previous to move to previous queue. And now I can go across the world however I want. Let me move this over. Let's see, where are you? There we go, there we go. Nice. So I can play, pause, and jump between my cues. The next one I like to do is I always like to have a fader to control the overall brightness or opacity. So in Pixera, under the timeline module, sure enough, we're going to have set opacity. So on my Korg Nano control, I can do a knob or a slider. I'll do a slider. I'm going to do slider number one is I'm going to have this go to set opacity, set opacity go to my page. And I see it's definitely triggering, but it's not smooth. The reason why is the data coming in is not aligning with what Pixera needs. We see that brightness is measured between zero and 1.00, while the MIDI value, however, is coming in at 127. Uh oh. So what I can do is I can add what's called a range. Uh, module. 
If I drag the range module in line, I can see it. I can now connect the two nodes. So I'm going to have slider one go into the range module. And I can see that by default is outputting 0 0.50. So not quite what I want. So if I go into config, I can change the max from this 8 bit element to the MIDI element of 1.12700. Uh, now I actually have smooth between 0 and 100. So if I go to set opacity, I now have defined control of the actual opacity values. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the last one I'm going to show you before we call it a day together is going to be blend to cues. I want to have actual buttons then that are going to blend to a specific cue point. Ooh, ah, e. So I could, of course, do this through the Pixera. There are um, all the cues here. But Pixera is super cool in that they give you what's called a Pixera helper. So Pixera helpers are pre-built modules that are connected to actual elements of Pixera. And the one I really like is called Q Applied Actions. Q Applied Actions. If I drag this in, I'm going to type in Timeline 1. I'm going to hit Refresh. You know what? I did it again. That's actually not the one I want. I want apply Q generator. Apply Q generator. So I'm just going to leave that in here. I'm not going to delete that mistake because I do that literally every single time. So if I hit refresh, this is going to show me all my video cues. If I click the node itself, I can set a default parameter to be blend to Q. Nice. So now I'm going to go to my buttons. Pixera control. There it goes. Buttons. And I'm just going to click a random button I have called S1. I'm going to have this connect to Q number one. I'll do the same for uh, Q number two, Q number three, Q number four, and Q number five. Great. So now note, when I go to the cues here, by default, they're going to be a cut because there's no attribute to them. So I'm going to set these attributes to be the internal, or actually internal or standard. Let's see. Internal is correct. So I'm going to set these all to be in, uh, internal. Excuse me. So right, basically, it's saying, hey, use the uh, blend parameters of the node. Uh, you can override each one as well and do your own. So now. Let's test it. We see we're now doing a one second crossfade between each specific cue in any order that I want. So I have blend to cue, I have overall brightness, I have play, I have pause, I have next cue, I have previous cue. As you probably saw with Pixera Control, there are a lot more options of what I can do, but this is just a really, really good way to get started and uh, hopefully control your shows in a more seamless way. So as always, uh, definitely hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check out other videos, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.